Hello friends, welcome back to Mark Kelly Farm. We got a really quick product review for you today. We're going to be using something that you all recommended. So let's give it a shot. If you all remember, I had to re-season the underside of this lid because I took off some metal material that was holding the lid up because I wanted a nice tight-fitting lid on our Dutch oven. And when I did that, I got oil on the lid before I put it into the oven. Well, actually, some on the pot, too. And I've scrubbed and scrubbed and scrubbed. And I cannot get these stains to come off of this enameled lid. So some of you recommended this product right here. Barkeeper's Friend Cookware Cleanser and Polish. So we will see if this is going to work. The package says for difficult stains, and I would consider that a very difficult stain, Make a paste with the powder and some water. So we're going to do that real quick. Assuming you don't need to wear gloves while using this. And it says to put it on and leave it on for like a minute. I may have uh, made my paste a little thin. But we'll see. Okay, it's been a minute. What I'm thinking, let's put a little more on here. If a little's good, a lot should be better, right? Isn't that the way it works? So let's give this a scrub. I'm going to use the green side of our 3M pad. I think it's actually working. Well, folks, what do you think? I'm kind of impressed with it. I mean, it didn't get like 100% of it off, but it's presentable now. It doesn't look like cookware from some sad cafe downtown. I mean, that's pretty good results. I'm, uh, I'm going to put this thing to the real test. Hold on. Now, I can't stand with my non-stick skillets. Get this on them. I don't know... What causes that? I mean, we wash these things all the time, but we're going to see if it takes that off. Well, folks, there's the pan. Not like a hundred percent success. There's some stuff that just would not come off of there. And I must say, I used an exorbitant amount of elbow grease on this. Uh, but it looks better than it did. It almost appears like the surface has been sanded. Which I don't know if that's a good thing. I don't know if I'd use this on anything that was delicate. Like, definitely not on the inside here. And I don't know if you'd want to use it on your stove top either. But let's do a control test. Okay, I got my other non six skillet. It's got crusties on it too. We're going to try Ajax on this left side here. And we're going to try Comet on the right side over here. We'll see if it makes any difference at all. Alright, there's the Comet side. Not too bad. I would say it's about the same as the... Uh, barkeeper's friend stuff so let's do the Ajax side now well there's the Ajax side I wouldn't say it's any better than any of the others and I must say neither ne none of them work you know any better than any of the others so if you've already got Comet or Ajax in your pantry and you're looking to clean something, you might as well just use it because 
it used about the same amount of elbow grease for all three of those products. Now with all three of those products, I found that the drier you keep the mix, less water, more powder, the better that it worked. Also with all three products, the longer it was on the surface, the better it worked. So they all benefited from being on there longer. So that's the results. Well, folks, I think the experiment's going to end there. And I know what you're all going to say. I'll send my pots over. You can do a test on those. I'm going to have to uh, politely decline that offer. But, uh, I mean, the Dutch oven looks better than it did. I'm appreciative of that. Thank you for recommending the project for me. So, until next time, stay safe, stay healthy. We love you guys. Come back and see us here at Mark Kelly Farm.